Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. My name is Sophie, and I'm from Swiss Next in San Francisco. Thank you so much, Lyft, for inviting me to create this session this afternoon. So the next two hours, we're going to spend together entering the anti-disciplinary space. We all know... One second, I need a clicker. We all know that we're living in a more and more connected and complex world. Over 4 billion people have mobile phones today. 1 billion miles of fiber all around the world, which means that over 6 billion people are connected with their brains. So basically, we're kind of wired together. And now, what is our goal? The goal should be that this big connected brain becomes exponentially smarter and smarter. And we become smarter as a group. A collective intelligence, something like a smart swarm. That's actually footage live from Milano when I was there. But to be able to become smarter as a group, we need a few people who are at the forefront who are pushing things to the side. We need a couple of birds, in this case, flying the other way around. We also need some birds that are running late for a good reason, because they saw something interesting somewhere else. We also need the ones holding the whole thing together and making sure nobody's running too late. And we do need a really diverse network of skills, know-how, and perspectives. And that's exactly the same for us people. We need to collaborate, and we need to experiment, and we need to be in between and beyond disciplines until new ideas emerge. Putting, for example, designer, artists, technologists, researchers together, like we're doing now here at Lyft, uh, in a free space, that's a really great start. But we need some people who are going even beyond that. People who don't fit a discipline anymore. People who see the big picture because they're able to move seamlessly between the discipline and translate between them. And we need people who don't fit a box. And people who think and live, we call it anti-disciplinary. And this term has been developed at one of my most favorite institutions. It's the MIT Media Lab in Boston. They're really unique in bringing science and design together. And their founder, who is a, or not founder, their current director, who is an interdisciplinary himself, because he was an entrepreneur, technologist, a very successful VC, and now he's spearheading a really important academic institution, but actually has no degree. And he puts it in his own words. And he, he's really convinced that the more we have to tackle harder and harder problems because our world becomes more complex, we need to be able to understand so many different fields and perspectives. The separations of discipline actually rather creates damage. Um, he also uses uh, the word that he would like to work on one science. That would be the vision. So we're not using, like, specific vocabulary and specific microscopes for each field, and sometimes we don't even realize that we're actually looking at the same problem. So the idea of entering the antidisciplinary space. And I'm based in San Francisco, I said it before. I work for an organization called Swissnex, and our goal is really to connect Switzerland and the rest of the world in science, education, art, and innovation. And this is my future office. It's not quite ready, but it should be ready in, in about two, three months. And the idea is that we really create also a space where people from these different disciplines can come together for events, workshops, discussions, but also collaborate and really see it as a workspace. Switzerland has decided to really open the doors to the Silicon Valley and give access to a lot of creatives from Switzerland. And I did meet many of them during my last five years working at this place, and I met a lot of smart people. And somehow, the ones who inspired me most were always the ones that I couldn't quite place, that you didn't really know how to introduce them before a talk, because they did so many different things at the same time. And I might have admired them as well, because 
they're usually the ones who also know how to talk about what they're doing because they are antidisciplinary, so they speak different languages and they translate in different languages. And so that's why it's also great to have them in an afternoon with us today. So Lyft gave me the chance to bring four of my favorite antidisciplinaries here today. Half of them even flew in from the US, which is really, really great. So all the talks will be in English because we're international and antidisciplinary, but there is um, a translation in front of the desk if you're a little tired. And so I would start the session. Um, it was really easy for me to decide who will start. And it's going to be Sabut Patil. He's actually local uh, here, who works at the University of Geneva and was previously at CERN. He is a physicist and cosmologist, and his research is really based on the very, very early universe, the, bi the Big Bang and everything we know. And in that research, um, you really have to keep an open mind because there's so many unknowns still, there's so little we know about the beginning of the universe that you can't really come with existing principles and models. And he will really give us a run through also a bit the history and the practice in physics, how to keep your mind and perspectives very open to discover new things. I want to welcome Subud Patil.